crucial part of a four bar phrase is the, the middle. So the middle is, if you have four bars, you know, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, that accent on the third bar, if you avoid that, if you just move that accent one beat over or one either way, before or after the downbeat of bar three, it'll create a, a, a phrase that's more unusual and more open. I try to avoid the, the four bar phrases that sound like a two bar drum solo that's finished. Then they go, oh no, I have two more bars to play. Or if you have an eight bar solo, you have four bars and you finish it, then you go, okay, I need to think of another, you know, so it has this kind of an ending. I like to avoid that ending. You can also do things like accent every three beats. So it kind of sounds like you're playing in three, but you're counting in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you've got a sticking of right. So that's putting the bass drum in every third count. I'm playing the same, I'm just playing the same fill, an easy sticking, like one and a two and a three and a repeat that until it, you come out with the. Now you can do that by an eighth note. A lot of jazz drummers do that. They'll play one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and two, three. Just by having that. Uh, Anything to avoid the, and the, of, the two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and. Making an accent right there breaks up the, the um, having a two bars and two bars. So even that. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. And a four will, will break it up easily. Even if you move it by a quarter note, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three. You know, make the accent, let it ring for at least a beat or so. And that, that'll give you a, a, a kind of elongated phrase.